We've talked about the relationship between temperature and color. And if you recall Wien's law, it says that for any black body or in anything that radiates like a black body, such as a star, we can compare the relative temperatures of stars and we can see that there's also a, a relationship between the color. But the color is defined by the peak wavelength at which the star shines. So recall that all stars will radiate at basically all wavelengths, but they'll radiate at some wavelength more than others. That peak wavelength is governed by the star's temperature. So the coolest stars will shine the brightest in the infrared part of the spectrum, while the hottest stars will shine the brightest in the ultraviolet part of the spectrum. So simply stated, the hotter the star is, the bluer. Color index is a way of assigning a numerical value to characterize the color of a star. And we do this by comparing the magnitudes of stars using different filters. Typically, it will be the blue filter versus the visible light filter, which is essentially a green or yellowish green light, which is right in the middle of the visible part of the spectrum. So let's take our two stars here. We have Betelgeuse and Rigel. Uh, you'll notice that they both uh, have uh, very low magnitudes, which means they're very bright in the sky. Uh, Rigel's is a little bit brighter, however. So if we take a closer look at these two stars, we can now put some filters in front of them. Let's start with a blue filter. And we find that Betelgeuse has a blue magnitude of about 2.35, and it has a visible magnitude of about 0 0.5. So we get a difference of plus 1.85. Now let's do the same thing for Rigel. We see that it is very bright in the blue part of the spectrum. It has a very low magnitude of 0 0.09. In the visible part of the spectrum, it's a little bit fainter than Rigel and blue light. If we subtract the two magnitudes, we find that we get negative 0 0.03. So the lower the value, the bluer the star and therefore the hotter. Now, certainly we can just look at these two stars and recognize that Rigel is blue and Betelgeuse is reddish in color, and therefore we're expecting Rigel to be hotter because it is decidedly bluer. But imagine we're just thinking about two stars that are pretty faint and their colors are really hard to distinguish. That's when this technique really pays off. Uh, we can simply put a blue filter in front of the camera measure its blue magnitude, and then put a visible light filter in front of the camera and measure its visible light magnitude and then make that comparison and calculation. So the color index of the star is correlated to the star's temperature. Again, the lower the value, the hotter it's going to be. And the higher the value, the cooler it's going to be.